Can you hear that? That's my douchebag next door neighbor on his crotch rocket. He turns it on, he warms up for about an hour, then he drives up to the gas station, and then he drives back. That's what he does. <sighs> it's like, I don't have a sport bike, but how long do you have to warm up a motorcycle before you ride it? That's my question, I wanna know. You don't need to, it's fuel injected, you just need to let the oil resonate throughout the engine, which should only take 10 seconds. This guy says five seconds, this guy says 10 seconds. So suffice it to say, it doesn't need to be warming up for an hour. I just don't think the guy over there understands the concept. By the way, there's my Jones soda and my, my stale popcorn we used at movie night, which will be coming very soon. If not, it's already up. And if it's already up, link down below, but. Okay, he just, he leaves it in the garage for an hour and, and it warms up. That's all he does. That's all it does. It just sets there and warms up. You only need 10 seconds! Because happy thoughts. Happy thoughts, everyone. And speaking of happy thoughts... Yeah, just pretend like we're on the edge of a big stone right now and I'm a baboon. Anyway, it's a Geek Fuel. Did you get the Lion King reference? I got a new Geek Fuel box here and I've said this once and I'll say it again. Getting one of these once a month and you open it up, you don't know what's in it, you got some goodies, there's some stuff that you might love, there's some stuff you might like, and there's some stuff that you might not have a use for, but either way, it's fun. It's like it's something new and invigorating and it makes me feel like a little kid again every time I get to open one of these. So that right there is worth a subscription to me. Yeah, and before we open this bad boy up, I first wanted to mention a few other things to you. Uh, right before I clicked record on this video, I shot a brand new movie night covering Interstellar where love conquers all space, time, and dimension. And I do a very shitty Matthew McConaughey impression, and we talk about some of the things I liked about Interstellar and things that I disliked. So definitely check out that brand new movie night. I'll put a link down below. All right, so let's open this bad boy up. And before we do that, I want to like, I want everyone to relax a little bit. I want everyone to calm down, maybe dim the lights just a little bit, go get a fine Chardonnay, come back, drink that, eat some Sour Patch Kids. Maybe I can put on my Batman robe and my Bane mask and, uh... I don't know, let's just make it magical and mystical. That's all I'm talking about. I feel like we need a little bit of glitter in here right now. Just a little bit of sparkle. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm all jacked up on caffeine and I'm crashing right now. I've been talking for like the last three hours while I'm making videos. So yeah, let's, uh, let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. Come here. It's like my fingers are getting a little bit jittery. All right, so let's open this up. And by the way, if you guys want to check out Geek Fuel, uh, I'll put a link down below to the website. And if you guys go through my special link, you guys get a special item in your box. So yeah, if you're going to do it, definitely use my link. You get more stuff, the better. All right, so opening this up, let's see what's in here. All right, so it looks like a poster right here. No clue what this is. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> look at that. Look at that poster right there. That's awesome, actually. Because look at it. It's it's like an old-fashioned plane, and then you have a stormtrooper flying it. The next thing you have here is this Dragon Class little pouch thingy, Majigger. So I don't... You can put your gold coins in there if you're Peter Dinklage or something like that. So yeah, that's nice. I, actually, what... Actually, there's something in there. There's something in the pouch. In the black sack. Ooh, it's like a arrow's head. Look at that. Look at that. I always wanted to learn how to shoot a bow and arrow. Like, I just think one day during the zombie apocalypse, I am going to run out of bullets and I'm going to have to turn into Daryl from The Walking Dead. Except I'm not going to know how to shoot a crossbow and I'm just going to accidentally shoot myself in the face. All right, so the next thing is um, this right here. You have some stickers. Then you have a comic book. It's a Game of Thrones comic book. That's really neat. And then, let's get into the juicy stuff right here. This is, the further you dig into the box, that's, it gets more juicy. Yeah, check this out right here. It comes with this Gears of War energy drink right here. It's called Emulsion. I just hope it tastes like the sweat of Phoenix Wright from Gears of War. So anyway, yeah, I'm looking forward to sucking this thing down at some point. Like, I, this is one of those things I, I leave in my car just in case. Like, it's a little bit rainy, I'm a little bit tired, I need a little bit of a pick-me-up. You pull this out of the glove compartment and you have a great night. All right, so that's really awesome. And then it comes with, looks like another poster. Ugh. Slide this bad boy out. Duh! Yeah, look how long this thing is. Hang on. Look at that. That's pretty big. Uh, but anyway, I always thought like these had like some kind of hidden thing in them, like Waldo or something. So I remember one day I was staring at it. I was like, am I supposed to find something? Uh, but yeah, it's just a whole bunch of pop uh, culture kind of things going on. So that's really cool. 
All right, now we got a few more things left in the box. Um, we got this little button right here. By the way, Rip Leonard Nimoy. Uh, yeah, live long and prosper. All right, and last but certainly not least, by the way, on a side note, my neighbor, the guy who had his sport bike running for about an hour when I was trying to shoot this video, uh, what he did is he left it running for an hour to warm it up. Then he shut it off, closed his garage, got in his car and drove away. So, all right, so last but not least is this awesome t-shirt right here. Now look at this. Now this is kind of a Game of Thrones parody shirt. It's called um, Throne of Games. And what it is, it has all these different classic uh, games on it. Like, uh, let's see, looks like Metroid. Is that Zelda? There's a uh, Mario thing going on there. So that's really awesome. Check that out. Now, as usual, I got to put this on, so hang on. Let me put it. By the way, look at this t-shirt. I love it. I'll be right back. All right. So, yeah, I like it. Feels good. Now, I wear a size large. This is how a large fits me on the t-shirts, and I like it because it feels like that really good kind of thick cotton that you're not going to wash it. It's just going to disintegrate, and that's a problem I have a lot of t-shirts I buy. So, yeah, that feels really good. It feels nice, and uh, I feel a little bit secure in it. So, Really cool t-shirt, and uh, speaking of Game of Thrones, Daenerys Targaryen, the mother of dragons. <sighs> like, that chick, man. I Like, she's in the new Terminator movie playing Sarah Connor, and it just doesn't look right to me. But, yeah, her writing a dragon in Game of Thrones is pretty much why I watch that show and Peter Dinklage. So maybe if we could put her and Peter Dinklage on a dragon together writing it, That'd be the most magical thing I've ever seen in my life. All right, so that concludes the unboxing of the Geek Fuel box. And like I said a little bit ago, if you guys want to check this out, the link to it's down below. And if you go through my special link, you get a special item in your Geek Fuel box. And by the way, I've done one of these unboxings once a month for like the last four months. So if you guys are new to these unboxing videos and you want to see what was in some of the previous unboxing videos for these, if you guys are looking into it, uh, yeah, I'll put a few links to those also down below if you want to check out the other unboxing videos. So let's close this up. Ah, and just throw it over there. All right, so ah, what else is there? Oh, let's talk about a few other new videos before we jump into the viewer shout outs. Uh, so on over the last week or so, I put up some new vlog videos here on the John Flickster channel. Uh, one of those videos was uh, me going to the dentist. Well, it's kind of the after effects of going to the dentist. I sound like Sylvester Stallone because they numbed my mouth. And I was just like, I'm not, yeah, yeah. and it's a fun video. And we talk about some other stuff along the way. And I also put up another video here on the John Flixer channel. It was a workout collab video where me and a fellow YouTuber, we went to the gym, we worked out, we recorded it. And it's also kind of like a vlog video. And it was just a really fun time. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for more workout videos. And a lot of you have been asking for me to make a video talking about my entire routine, really breaking it down in detail and talking about like supplements, things like that, things I've taken over the years, things I like. And I think that's a really good idea. So I will probably be making a video like that. And if you guys want to see a video like that, let me know down below. Tell me what you want to see. I'll try to make it happen. Yeah, so links to all those videos and everything else I talked about down below in the description box. Click it, go there, check it out, please. Now it's time to jump into the viewer shout outs. Now these are awesome viewers who went above and beyond and helped support me a little bit and picked up some of my t-shirt designs. And as a thank you back to them, well, I got to give you guys a shout out here on my video. So yeah, you guys are awesome. Now here's how it works. If anyone picks up one of my t-shirt designs at redbubble.com, link to that down below, and you email me a picture to the email address down below in the uh, description box, well, tell me your name, tell me maybe where you live, tell me your exact address. I want to know where you live. I'm coming to find you. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll shout you guys out in an upcoming video. So these are some of the people who did that. And it's really awesome. I'm just going to say this. Like, just watching my videos is really all I need from you guys. Like, that means a lot to me. But some people, you know, they, they help support me a little bit by picking up my designs, things like that. Comments, thumbs up. It does mean a lot. And it almost brings a tear to my eye. But I'm a man. And I won't cry. Unless I'm, I'm crying out baby oil, that is. All right. So the first one goes to Kyle Anthony from Connecticut. He picked up my blue Nightcrawler t-shirt. So yeah, thank you, Kyle. I like the blue Nightcrawler t-shirt. See, I only have it in green. I actually want to pick it up in like every single color. By the way, the Nightcrawler t-shirt has become the number one best-selling t-shirt of mine. So I thank you guys for that. Uh, the next one goes to Nick Wizig, uh, or also at Nick Wizig on Twitter. He picked up my blue flick pick t-shirt, and he also has a very scared look on his face. Like, why are you so scared, Nick? What's happening to you? Did someone hurt you? 
You come by me and I'll protect you. Uh, but anyway, thanks Nick, really appreciate it. All right, the next one goes to Rich B who picked up my Study Hands t-shirt. And look at this, but when you combine the t-shirt with a nice jacket, it looks like you could wear that on a date. And like, your date's not gonna be scared that you're wearing a Jake Gyllenhaal Study Hands t-shirt. Cause you look suave and sophisticated. So it's kind of a, it all blends together very nicely. So thank you for that. The next one goes to Tyler Hanley from Canada. I was gonna do a Canadian impression. By the way, the way I speak, a lot of people think I'm from Canada. I don't know why. Oh, don't you know? Like, I, maybe I talk like that, I don't know. Anyway, I am from Indiana, so not too far away from Canada, but uh, he picked up my light blue Nightcrawler t-shirt, and uh, yeah, so thank you, uh, Tyler. I really appreciate it, looks good, and uh, yeah, enjoy the maple leaves and uh, hockey, and uh, what else do you guys do in Canada? I'm sorry, I'm just stereotyping you. I live in America. All I have is McDonald's and Walmarts, and I love Walmart. Um, the next one goes to Nima, from Sydney, Australia. That's crazy, man. Like, it's crazy that people from other continents watch this. Like, it's like without the internet, we wouldn't know each other, and now we do, and that's a special thing. It's a bonding experience. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you for supporting me down under. Thank you very much. Uh, and then the next one goes to, let me try to pronounce this, Sam Mosquita. Mosquita? Sam Mosquita. If I'm wrong, just pretend like I'm right. Uh, he picked up my green study hands t-shirt, so thank you very much, Sam. Really appreciate it. All right, the next one goes to, and I'm going to try to pronounce this. Please forgive my sins against humanity if I don't pronounce it correctly. Nico Harju. Harju? It's H-A-R-J-U. Harju. Let's just pretend like that's right. That sounds right. Anyway, he picked up my green study hands t-shirt, and he has the GoPro going. Study hands? Study hands? And he's 21 years old from Finland. An, like another country far away so that's just awesome that's it's it really does blow my mind all right the next one goes to ben monts montes monts i think it's monts it's m-o-n-t-e-s monts right or monet i don't know i think my brain just leaked out anyway ben picked up my red study hands t-shirt uh, so yeah, thanks man, I really appreciate it. And, uh, the Study Hands t-shirt obviously is the most popular t-shirt. Everyone is picking up that. Pick up the Back to the Flick Pick t-shirt. It's pretty awesome too. Uh, <laughs> alright, the next one goes to Andy Tong, who picked up my Black Nightcrawler t-shirt. So, thank you Andy, really appreciate it. And, yeah, thanks to everybody. I, I mean, there was a lot of names on this list, and this was just from like, I don't know, maybe a week and a half. Yeah, let me know how you're doing down below in the comments section. What kind of videos would you guys like to see more of? And by the way, I didn't forget, I have a brand new Q&A coming very soon. I'm actually probably going to record it tomorrow. But yeah, tonight I just have to, like a shit ton of videos to edit. So bear with me. Uh, yeah, leave your thoughts, your opinions down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.